here from Junk Co. I hope you're all safe and well. Uh, this week I'm going to show you what we learned whilst making this incredibly complicated marble run. So at the top we have this marble here, which is released by this marble going along here, down here. Now do it slowly, that goes into there. That marble's whole job is to get this marble after it's gone down here along there, back up onto here. And now it's sitting in there, ready to go. So what we have, a bit of milk bottle held on, just clipped on here. With one of our clips, like that. And here we've just used a corner of a soup carton Tetra Pak. This is our crossroads, where the two tracks run across each other. We've just held on one yogurt pot with a hole in, using a J-Fix, one of our Junko fixings, and a magnet inside there. This is a really tricky trick, so this is the first thing we made. This wheel is actually a bit of Junko Zuma. And that is just clamped on here. You squeeze these two parts of the zoomer together so it clicks around pots and boxes when it's making a vehicle. Here we've just clicked it round this juice carton and it sort of clamps the whole thing onto there. At the bottom, it's a little JFix corner on a support which is what it all rests on. That's our standard Junko wheel from the zoomer. You just click bits of cardium which you can colour in or whatever. This is a slot we've cut, put a JFix corner in. Then we've put a piece of card onto that like that, and that holds this whole section, which is a yogurt pot, piece of card, yogurt pot, JFix corner, JFix corner, and then to make it all stiff, we've just put these two pieces in here with JFix corners, and we've attached that onto there. And that clips onto there, that clips into the wheel, and that all goes onto there. So this part here, top of a sort of four pint milk bottle, uh, again, where the handle is, we just cut a little hole. We have stuffed the front section of a Junko wheel frame into this tube, and this tube is stuck into a box. We cut a hole. We have got Junko. So taking the bands off this wheel, you can see underneath, we've got one strip of card here, and one strip of card here, and we've joined them together, and then we've cut little slots, slot, 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 so we could bend it up and make this channel. The outside, we've done the same thing we did on the other wheel, bit of card popped into there, and then we've just stuck this piece of card on top there, which just strengthens it a bit. And then we've just put on three elastic bands over the top here, one, two, three, and they just hold it all together and help the pulley strip there grip. And this channel is what this runs in. We did this so we could keep everything at the right angle. This belt here is just made of milk bottle. It's a milk bottle stuck together. And we had to put weights on this here. So once it tips over the point here, the weights kick in and it goes whee and goes really fast. This here is actually just the top of a milk bottle. That was where the handle was and that's where the lid goes. We've cut it and we've put a little bit of, we've actually taped with sellotape this time and put a weight there, magnet. So it gets caught in there. As it hits the top, rolls and comes out of there. Section here, we have just used some card, zero box, JFix corners, and then here we have used, just to hold these up, little magnetic JFix clips here, and we've made these little flat surfaces it can bounce off. To smooth it out, we put a bit of our paper tape just over the edge of that so that it, the ball runs smoothly. These parts here are just bits of toilet roll, and all we've done is made these little pillars using JFix corners. So that's your pillar, and we've just cut little slots in here and tucked the toilet rolls into there. To hold these pillars firm, not all of them, some, sometimes we tape them on with a bit of brown tape, sometimes they're just resting. We also use little jars full of water under here and we just build the pillar around that and that just makes it nice and firm. So this is the end of the marble run. 
we wanted two finishes. So what happens is the marble comes down this tube here, it knocks this bit of card, which brings the flag up, but then the marble also, this has opened up a little channel here, and the marble runs down there. Woo! So the bit that this knocks off is actually a magnet. This is from the Zuma kit. And what it does is it falls over, clicks onto those other magnets, and that's what makes it heavier and pulls the flag up. This is just a rear piece of the Zuma with a wheel on it. And all we've done is elastic banded it onto this tin. And to keep all these pieces weighed down, we put little jars of water inside. So that's a few of the sort of Junko hacks we learned using a Zuma and a build kit to make a rather exciting marble run. If you haven't got Junko, don't panic, because loads of these things are just made with cards. It's harder to hold cards stiff without Junko, but you can use bits of box and cut them. You could cut holes in them. You could tape them together, and you could still make pillars and use other bits of box to make lots of channels for marbles to run between. So why not have a go at home? It's brilliant fun. You'll work loads of stuff out, and you'll feel pretty satisfied at the end. Take care. Bye-bye.